We continue to learn more about coronavirus cases in Pennsylvania's nursing homes and long-term care facilities. New numbers released by the Department of Health show several more cases than previously reported. Lindsay Ward is live to explain some of the details, including numbers from the hardest hit facility, Brighton Rehab. So Lindsay, the big question is like, what happens next now that we have this information? Heather, good morning. Well, we do know that the numbers of positive cases with coronavirus, they're staggering in a lot of these nursing homes. We're talking about hundreds of cases. And because of that, more testing will be seeing. We're talking about testing for not only the residents inside these facilities, but also the staff. Now, it's also been very frustrating for families. Many say they've been searching for answers about what's happening with their loved ones inside personal care homes. And on Tuesday, the state said it is the responsibility of the facility to let family members know what's going on and to keep them updated. They said when it comes to COVID-19, it's challenging for residents because many of them are dealing with other serious medical conditions. Here's a breakdown of numbers for you this morning. In Allegheny County, 96 residents in personal care homes have died. 394 have tested positive for coronavirus. In Beaver County, 76 residents have died and 358 have tested positive. And all of them are through the Brighton Rehab and Wellness Center. In Westmoreland County, 27 residents have died and 133 have tested positive. We have continued to do everything we can uh, to help those facilities. Um, and now that the uh, testing capacity is there, we're working out um, a way to test everyone, all the patients and all the staff in every facility, both the nursing homes and the personal care homes. Um, and we're continuing to evolve our strategy and do, again, everything we can to protect them. And the Wolf administration says they have implemented a three pillar approach. It begins with education and testing, preventing and mitigating outbreaks, and of course, working with state departments as well as local health departments. Reporting live, Lindsay Ward, KDKA News.